No matter who you are or who you pretend or wish to be, there are really two of you. This is the self-help breakthrough the world has been waiting for. An entirely new concept in self-awareness and development? Well, not exactly. Simply a new and accurate understanding of the self and who you really are. Raising awareness of the critical importance of genetic heritage. The genetic heritage of every human being on the planet. The overlooked truth is that there are two of everyone. Your conscious mind, a cognitive process obtainable by you that thinks and acts exactly as you do. But often overridden by your conditioning and upbringing and all the experiences you've enjoyed and endured through your life so far. But the other you is your subconscious mind, a subconsciousness mind defined by consology as the part of your psyche without your awareness, your imprinted conditioning, passed down through time. A precious part of your being, often overlooked without you even being aware of it, unless you can integrate. Yes, you can learn to control and embrace your subconscious self, to connect with a deep inner sense of inner trust, and ultimately succeed to achieve the choices and success you have always wanted. You've no doubt heard that all of us are totally conditioned, controlled, actually indoctrinated by our parents, scientifically argued until the age of seven. You may not know that your parents also passed down a lot of your life's timeline in your genes. More so than any other factor, your genetic inheritance determines the status of your subconscious mind. Of course, you had no conscious choice when your parents created you. No way of knowing. Many of your behavioural motivations, determined by your subconscious. Now you have that choice, and the opportunity to fully understand and embrace what is called consology. Please meet the author of Awakening the Conscious Cell, social scientist Jen Sackley. Hello. I was in two minds about making this film. On the one hand, I was reluctant because consciousness and subconsciousness are still such a debate today. Until very recently, right here, I made the connection to my genetic heritage, to my subconscious self. This beautiful spot is where my family, my forebears, both lived and farmed. And on a recent visit, I was awakened to the reality that my subconscious mind influenced just about everything I've done through my life. This insight has allowed me to understand that we all have two minds and that if embraced, our subconscious mind can be both productive and beneficial, provided you embrace it. Embracing your subconscious self is what I call consology. To be conscious of one's cellular self. Without getting into quantum physics, it's scientifically proven that we're all made up of atoms and cells. Your conscious mind can work in harmony with your subconscious state, allowing you to enjoy the success and ultimate happiness that you deserve. However, a failure to embrace your subconscious state could mean you may live with an inner conflict for the rest of your life. Consology is exactly this, the practice of embracing your subconscious mind and integrating it with your conscious mind. And it's easy to do. All you have to do is embrace your subconscious mind. You don't have to stroll down memory lane like I did. Embracing your subconscious mind will truly make a difference to every aspect of your life. Visiting the family farm has allowed me to develop Consology. Consology is the concept that you can integrate your two minds, your conscious and subconscious self. The overlooked truth is everyone has two minds. A conscious self that acts and thinks as you do. A consciousness that you are consciously aware of. And your other mind 
is your subconscious self. A subconscious self, defined by the Oxford Dictionary as the part of your mind without your awareness over which you do not have active control. Yet you can learn to control and embrace your subconscious self. Ultimately, to succeed and achieve all the choices that you've ever wanted. You have no doubt heard that we are all totally controlled, conditioned, and even indoctrinated by our parents until about the age of seven. You may not know that your parents have passed down a lot of your life's timeline in your genes. More than any other factor, your genetic inheritance determines the status of your subconscious self. Oh, but you had no choice when your parents created you. So no way of knowing your subconscious motivations and urges. Now you have that choice. An opportunity to understand and embrace your subconscious mind. Your collective self. So that your two minds become one. Thank you for your time. If you only ever read one more book in your life, it has to be Awakening the Conscious Cell. Available soon in print and as an ebook. Order now. Just click on the link on this website.